Okay, can I have um, two of these ones, please? Vanilla rum pudding. Welcome back to the Engrave Kitchen. Today we are going to make a banana bread for my friend Karol. This is my son Surya. He is going to help me today. Okay, so let's go through the ingredients. You are going to need two ripe spotted bananas for extra sweetness. The wet ingredients are one egg, vanilla bean paste, melted butter and some honey. And the dry ingredients are flour, sugar, ground cinnamon, baking powder and salt. The two fillings we're using are white chocolate and walnuts, but you can use whatever fillings you like. We're using white chocolate in particular because it's Carol's favourite. Let's mash the banana first. Take the banana from the skin. And the next one. Mash the banana with a masher to mash because it's well right. This is very easy. Mix it well. That's it. Yes. One egg, one teaspoon of vanilla extract. Fifty grams of melted butter, one squeeze of honey. Just mix it. Once you've mixed your wet ingredients, you can add your dry ingredients. First, add 100 grams of golden caster sugar. Then get your sieve and add 100 grams of all-purpose flour. Then add a quarter teaspoon of salt half a teaspoon of baking powder and half a teaspoon of ground cinnamon. Sieve the ingredients through. And then mix thoroughly. Now we're going to add 50 grams of white chocolate and walnuts. Once it is mixed well, we're going to add it to our baking tin, which is greased with butter. Ours is 22 centimeters. Make sure your oven is preheated at 180 degrees and bake it for around 40 minutes. Let's check if the bread is done. Yes, it's done. Let it cool for 20 minutes. Nice and moist. Mmm. Oh, it's good. It is, yeah, it's delicious. Mmm. Mmm. Lots of cinnamon. Without powder. Mmm, that's lovely. It is gorgeous. And today we're going to make orange flavored almond biscuit for our Sunday afternoon tea. This is my son Abine. He's going to help us too. Woo! Um, it's a very simple recipe because they all go into one bowl. So the ingredients are 115 grams of all-purpose flour, 100 grams of caster sugar, 60 grams of almond powder, a tablespoon of orange zest, 3 teaspoons of orange juice with a drop of orange extract, a pinch of salt, and 60 grams of softened butter. After that, you put the ingredients in the bowl, just mix it. Until it become a dough, apparently. After you have mixed the uh, ingredients into dough form, you can wrap it up in cling film. 
it doesn't have to be exactly clean and you can put it in the fridge for at least one hour to, to chill. It's been one hour so the dough should be ready. Let's go and roll it. The dough is still, now we have to roll it out. You can roll the dough out in any surface but we're just using our table. Um, before you do roll it out, um, cover the surface with flour. So when you roll the dough out, you want to make it flat and make it so the thickness is just as at least one centimetre. You can cut the, the dough any shape you want, but we are going to use just a lid of a jar because it's the right size for the trays we're going to use. this dessert is because um, my dad always makes it for our tea time and it's really nice. Also my mum is an obsessed with oranges but I'm not obsessed but I don't mind them. Um, after you've done that you have to put it in the oven for 180 degrees preheated and let it bake for 15 minutes. Put it in the preheated oven for 15 minutes. Let's check the biscuits are done. Yes, it's done perfectly. Thank you for watching guys. In my next video, we're going to show you how to make three types of chutney dips.